here in this video let's discuss about the preparations preparations and chemical reactions or the properties we say chemical reactions of ethers this is the main topic so we are going to learn about how ethers are prepared and chemical reactions okay so um, so question we'll take one question how how one propoxy propoxy propane synthesized synthesized from propane one all okay this is the question means you want one propoxy propane means ch3 ch2 ch2 o ch3 okay this is one propoxy one propoxy propane okay. from what we want to we want this ch3 ch2 ch2 OH. This reaction can take place at a temperature, like you add an acid H2SO4, but temperature should be 413 Kelvin. This is a product which you are going to get. But you know that whenever we add acid to the alcohol, uh, it, it gives you what? Alkene, dehydration take place. But that is at what? That, that exception is at this temperature. Remember this. That is at higher temperature. You add an acid. You add an acid H2SO4, H2SO4, and the temperature is 443, 443 Kelvin. In that case, you are going to get an alkene over here, right? So here, at this temperature, a slightly lower temperature, you get a ether. Next is about the Williamson synthesis. The question I have taken over here is write a chemical reaction. Write a chemical reaction. Write a chemical reaction for preparation of for preparation of 2 methoxy 2 methoxy 2 methyl Propane, 2 methoxy 2 methyl propane. Now, how is the structure of 2 methoxy 2 methyl propane? 2 methoxy 2 methyl propane is this. There are three carbons. On second, there is 2 methoxy. On second, there is 2 methyl. And this is what the structure is. Means this is my R part and this is my alkoxy part. So, general reaction of the Williamson synthesis, Williamson's synthesis. Is this alkyl halide plus R dash O N A means this R and this R may or may not be same sodium alkoxide. So this is alkyl halide. This is sodium alkoxide. Okay, the presence of dry ether. What do we get is R O R dash plus NEX provided this should be a primary this should be a primary alkyl halide alkyl halide and this should be a tertiary sodium alkoxide these are the condition if it is opposite, the elimination reaction is going to take place. Means in this case, I, which part you will take for the alkoxide? Uh, tertiary. Okay. So, here alkyl halide which I will be taking is CH3 Cl and O N A CH3 CH3 and CH3. This is tertiary I am taking. And in the presence of dry ether what you get is CH3O 
CH3, CH3, and CH3. So this is what the product you are going to get. That is um, two methoxy, two methyl propane. These are about the uh, preparation. Only two methods are there for the preparations of the ether. Okay, you can learn them. One is Williamson synthesis, and other by uh, preparation by adding an acid to alcohol. So let's learn about the chemical properties, chemical reactions, how ethers are going to react with some other reagent. So I'll write uh, here chemical reactions. So given is this, write a final product. I'll not write that statement. Write the final product of this HI. Okay, what would be a final product over here? See over here, this is a HI is a strong acid. Remember, this is a strong acid. This is a strong acid strong acid means what very good source of h plus source of h plus you can write source of h plus in mechanism what must be happening it is this ch3 um i'll write i'll show here only i'll not write it again this is a lone pair it will donate its electron to this h plus from a strong acid hi so this is what you get ch3 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 O, CH3 and a hydrogen and a positive charge. You see that positive charge is on the electronegative element which is very bad. You cannot have a electronegative uh, a positive charge on the electronegative element. So one bond should be breaking either this or either this. So either A or B which will break. So it will break in a such a direction that where there is the most stable carbocation. Let's say if it is breaking this way then carbocation will be formed over here. Okay, let's write both the attack. If it is breaking via A, then what is the thing you are going to get? CH3, CH3 plus CH3 OH. And if it is breaking via B, then what is the thing you are going to get? CH3, CH3, CH3 OH plus CH3 plus you are getting a carbocation here and here so this will be preferred this will be preferred because your tertiary carbocation which is more stable so then finally I minus is going to come and attack over here and final product is this plus methanol this will be a product because here tertiary carbocation tertiary carbocation this is more stable and this is zero degree carbocation right so this is more stable intermediate more stable intermediate more stable intermediate next question is an isol okay So finally, what we can write is the uh, name of this will be, what will be the name of this? 2-methyl, uh, 1, 2, 3, parent chain. So 2-methyl, sorry, iodo comes first. 2-iodo, 2-methyl, propane. And this is methanol. Next is reaction. This is this was the first reaction. I'll clean this. Next is a reaction of anisole with H. A very important reaction. Very very important reaction. That is anisole. Second reaction is reaction of methoxy benzene. This is methoxy benzene. Also known as anisole. Reaction with HI. What do you get? You get this product. OH plus CH3I. Now, the thing is very simple. So, whenever this is going to react with the H plus, a lone pair, what is the thing you are going to get over here? Intermediate. You are going to get O, CH3, H and a positive. Which bond can break? This is difficult to break because it is like it forms a partially double bond oxygen and this conjugation it is very difficult this is easy to break even if it is breaking then carbocation will be formed over here so bond which will be broken is this and not this so finally what you get is 
phenol and CH3 I means I minus carbocation will be formed over here. So this is the product phenol and methyl iodide. Okay. Next question is. Why boiling point of ether are lower than isomeric alcohol? Why boiling point of ethers is lower than isomeric alcohol? So I told you, boiling point depends on what? A intermolecular force and a molecular mass. So isomer, if you consider an isomer like this, CH3, CH2, O, CH3. This is an ether. What is the molecular formula? C3, uh, H8O. Uh, and you take an alcohol of this, CH3, CH2, CH2OH. And over here molecular formula, C3, H. Uh, 8O. You see that molecular formulas are same. They are a isomer, right? Functional group isomer. They are functional group isomer. But what it is said is that boiling point of this is lower than this. So over here, uh, you see that uh, there is no hydrogen bonding. Here, dipole-dipole force is operating. Dipole-dipole force. And here, intermolecular hydrogen bonding how to identify hydrogen is connected to electronegative element then the intermolecular hydrogen bonding is possible here hydrogen is there and oxygen is there but hydrogen is not connected to electronegative element so hydrogen bond force is not possible the lower force that is dipole dipole force is operating over here and here hydrogen bond force so reason will be what so here uh, reason will be uh, in in alcohol in alcohols um, hydrogen bond force hydrogen bond force operates between molecules and in ether it is dipole dipole force dipole dipole force since hydrogen bond hydrogen bond force is stronger than dipole dipole force dipole dipole force this is the reason alcohols alcohols has higher or you can write ethers has lowers therefore ethers has lower boiling point then alcohol right molar mass will be same we cannot judge based on the molar mass question over here ask is why ortho nitrophenol is more acidic than a orthomethoxyphenol okay now what is the meaning of acid acid means which is able to split this is ortho, sorry, ortho nitro. No, here is the ortho. Right. This is ortho nitrophenol, ortho nitro phenol. And this is what? Ortho methoxy. Here it is methoxy. Right. So ortho nitrophenol, it splits. What is the meaning of acid? O minus NO2. And H plus and here O minus O CH3 and H plus. Now ortho nitrophenol, this is more acidic. They are saying that question this is more acidic. 
means this has more acidic strength than this this is less acidic okay it is about how easily a hydrogen can leave hydrogen will leave the molecule very easily only if the negative charge which will be formed after leaving that should be stable here this negative charge is there and what is the effect which is operating over here it is minus m and a minus i but minus m is the dominant effect which is operating means it is negative and it is withdrawing the electron density means that is means it is stabilizing this negative charge so negative charge is more stable over here but over here this is so this group is showing minus i and a plus m effect right because it is donating electron through conjugation always mesomeric or the resonance effect one and same it is dominant so here it is negative and this is donating its electron through conjugation means it is destabilizing it to more extent right so this negative charge is not so stable so therefore this is less acidic means hydrogen won't leave that easily over here means less number of the h plus will be produced here there are more number of the h plus will be produced so therefore acidic strength of the ortho nitrophenol is uh, more than a ortho methoxyphenol so in writing uh, how you are going to write that for the exam okay in a paper is that uh, the negative charge okay what you can write is that uh, negative charge form on oxygen of ortho nitro phenol after dissociation dissociation is more stable than negative charge form on negative charge form on oxygen of ortho nitrophenol after dissociation is more stable than negative charge form on oxygen of ortho methoxy methoxy phenol phenol due to due to plus minus m effect minus m effect of no2 group where this effect where this effect stabilizes negative charge to more extent more extent in ortho nitro phenol so this is where i am covering a revision of whole chapter alcohols phenols ethers this will give you a good idea about the chapter if you not understood some things you can just always go back and watch that part so detailed explanation of the videos are also there i'll be putting those in the links uh, of the uh, description links of those videos you can go through the, those videos also De detailed explanation of the chapters of alcohols phenols ethers thank you